Hey guys, what's going on? This is 8 bit awesome here, and today we are back with some more... And today we are back with some more... Where to, partner? Fallout New Vegas. Where last left off? Wait. Casino floor. Where last left off, we, uh, got... We did stuff. Hey, Victor. What's going on? Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Oh, well, I heard, I mean, we heard, we meaning the followers of the apocalypse, that you had been in there. The Lucky 38, I mean. And we were wondering if you could help us. If it's not too much trouble, of course. This is important enough to the followers that we scraped together the caps required for the credit check. And I'm staying at Vault 21, which is pretty cheap, for the strip anyway. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House... Maybe he uses Dr. Mobius's technology. Hmm? It could be a Maybe he uses a lot of men hats! Many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. That's great. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network. But hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. But sadly I won't be able to do that. Because... I'm going to the Midnight Science Fiction f feature. Wow, for some reason that was a mouthful for me to say. Anyway, world map. So we can do that later. So... We uh, just... Just go all the way over here. The Mojave Draven. So anyway, I took a nap at in my bed at the uh, penthouse at the um, presidential suite. The um, Eddie and Boone are up there right now because they won't be able to come with me. And I put and I uh, left a bunch of stuff back at the suite. And these are the... Uh, I should probably show you the weapons I'm going to bring with me. These are the ones I'm bringing. The ch my chainsaw, my scoped hunting rifle, my power fist, my Q35 matter modulator, and my trail carbine. Actually, wait. I just want to check out the... I, I want to test out the trail carbine. Actually, wait. Oh, is there even stuff that's worthwhile to kill around here? It's a jackal gang member. Hello there. Wait, where was he? Ah, there he is. Actually, wait. I should probably get my scoped hunting rifle. Where is he? Where is he? Huh. Well then. Anyway, let's see. okay. So let's see. It's at midnight, so it's eight thirteen a.m. right now. So do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay. Whoa! Hi there.
Wow. Old World Blues. We're finally doing it. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the dome. A huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution, winning the war. <laughs> For years, the mines and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited. You feel strangely heavier. A quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. And then, nice start. Okay then, so... Okay, um... Scientists. Ooh, caps. I'll just 
I'll take all this. Ooh, more caps. Hmm? Okay. Hmm? Oh, it's empty. <laughs> ah! God. So, okay, the start of Old World Blues. I... I gotta say, I'm quite excited. Let's see, okay, so we found the sink, we found a, a tiny Securotron. Hmm? Okay, so this is essentially... Hmm. I could use the under root. So, okay. So I guess I have to find a key. <gasps> Mine! Mine! Meh. Let's see. Wait, okay, so let's see, I went in there, I went in there. Did I go in here? No, I didn't. Oh, look, vending machines. Um, oh wait, Sons of Sarsbara. My preferred method, method of healing. What? What? Okay. Well then, off to the think tank then. A strange feeling of pacifism comes over you, and you find you cannot draw your weapon for some reason. Well then. Something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Dala, get the spray before it excretes all over everything. Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct... This lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. The skin envelope once containing it. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. I know what it is, Dollar. I want to know why it's down here. With its... It's limbs all over everything. And are those 
Penises? I see wriggling on its feet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. I don't recall a human penis ever being that large. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Doctor O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static! These lobotomies confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It can only be... If it isn't my own colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain. Big fools, all of you. It is I, Dr. Mobius. <laughs> Technologies that could 